Hello everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot. And this is going to be a reading for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus energies in and around the Pisces Collective for the month of December. Keep in mind, timing and energy is fluid. And this could resonate at any point in time between now and throughout the month of December. Or whenever you are guided to watch this video. Please bear with me as I'm still addressing some voice issues, some throat chakra issues. But um, let's jump in Pisces and see what needs to come through for you. If you haven't already, do feel free to hit that subscribe button to join the channel. And let's see what needs to come through for you, Pisces. <clears throat> I do feel a heart chakra awakening in the month of December in order for you to embrace forgiveness and compassion. I do think get ready to face a major challenge head on in December, Pisces, because you are stuck somewhere you don't belong. And I do think this is an opportunity for growth and to stand up in your own beliefs and to be strong in your truth because you are encouraged to find your truth, to find your authentic voice. And I do feel you've been lacking that truth because I had a voice a little while ago and the second I went to tap into your energies, it got worse. So I think you really need to look at where you have been misguided by falsehoods. Maybe you were led astray down the wrong path from a social circle. And I think now it's time to shed a light on these negative vices and to figure out what really speaks to your heart and your soul. Because I do think your personal beliefs are being tested. And I do think this is about a heart chakra awakening going through a major paradigm shift. Yeah, without a doubt, major, major challenges. Life change is ahead, Pisces. And it's time for you to embrace these changes as an opportunity for your spiritual expansion. So... No matter how this change is appearing in your life, it really is to be considered a gift as part of your evolution. So I kind of feel you've been in this void. You've been in this dark night of the soul energy where it feels as if there's this gap in time where nothing is moving. <clears throat> and I do think things have been shifting below the surface in order for you to deepen your relationship to yourself. I feel you've been in a very dark, uncomfortable evaluation of your life, all of your past pain, in order to understand your soul's language, your personal beliefs, and to figure out what is actually going to motivate you and bring you joy. I think mastering the art of self-love, and I do believe you've been tapping into your own psychic awareness, your own psychic abilities, and you likely do have the gift of seeing, hearing, and sensing with your intuition. Um, Pisces is one of the very most intuitive signs in the zodiac. It is the high priestess card. And I do think this void is preparing you to journey towards fulfillment. No matter what, Pisces, although people can influence you, you must take charge of your own destiny. So I think it's time for you to do a deep dive and to let go of any outdated and ineffective beliefs that are no longer serving your calling. So get ready for an intense heart chakra awakening in the month of December in order for you to open up the gateway to your psychic receptors. <clears throat> that throat energy. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what needs to come through for you with the psychic tarot. What else does Pisces need to be aware of, please? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I will be so glad when I get my voice back entirely. All right, we got hope flipped out and reversed. So I kind of feel like you're feeling hopeless. You are in a lot of dark, depressing energy. And I think you need to embrace karmic freedom. There is a lot being woven behind the scenes, Pisces, stemming around an idea or a belief that you planted a very long time ago. 14 is karmic freedom. And I think you have been patient. You have been going into the depths of the darkness, facing 
all of these past wounds, embracing challenges, and I do think in the month of December, it's time for you to break free from a hopeless situation that has left you in the dark, has left you in this deep, voided energy. It is about filling your heart with love, compassion, and forgiveness. So we will see what else needs to come through with the Crystal Medicine Oracle deck. What else does Pisces need to be aware of? Retreat. Could be dealing with the Cancer. I always feel Cancer energy, energy with that card. But you are encouraged to retreat after facing this major challenge. I do think you're going to need a period of recovery. I think you do have a mountain to face, a challenge to face. And I think when you come out the other side... It is going to be a celebration. I do think you're cutting cords with a lot of toxic people. And this is a, a period of rejuvenation for you, Pisces. So we will see what is being evaluated <clears throat> with the wisdom of the Oracle deck, Pisces. What is being evaluated in the month of December for Pisces? Come to the edge. There's been resistance to taking this leap of faith, it flipped right out in reverse. So I kind of feel like you're being thrown off the edge in order to embrace this new beginning, this regeneration. And I feel you have been in the throes of the dark night of the soul and it is time to bring balance back into your life. It is time to recognize what needs to leave in order for you to embrace this rejuvenated, rejuvenating energy. There is going to be a change in the wind because it's time for you to go. It's time for you to leave a toxic situation behind Pisces, to brave the unknown, to brave the fogginess, because there's a new doorway being presented. And although the pathway might not be clear, the, the time is now to go. Maybe you're feeling abandoned. Maybe you have to abandon somebody. But I do feel this is about honoring your boundaries, your truth, your authentic voice, and allowing everything that is false in your life to die away with all that glitters. People are surrounding you that are wearing masks. They're not showing you your true intentions, Pisces. And there's divinely guided change when it comes to releasing anything false in your life, anything superficial, because it is about you stepping into service. It is about you finding your truth and releasing these misguided falsehoods. The time is now to shine this light. The time is now to come out of the darkness and to step into your own inner light, Pisces. So we will see what needs to come through with the tarot. <clears throat> judgment. It's time to make that final judgment call, Pisces. You're at a crossroads. There is going to be a deep layer of awakening when it comes to this heart opening. And the time is now to make that final decision, that judgment call. Crossroads, awakening. We'll see what else comes out, Pisces. Oh my goodness. There is a broken commitment here. I think at one point in time, there might have been harmony. There might have been a celebration. But there's nothing There's nothing left to celebrate here, Pisces. The fire's gone out. There's no more harmony. And it's time for you to take that step in, in a new direction. I think the decision's already been made. But there's been fear about taking that first step into this new life. Because there is going to be a brand new life around the corner. It's time to release self-manipulation, to release anybody who has uh, belittled you, gaslighted you, manipulated you, and to use your sword of truth to break free and to break free very quickly. The Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands, the very two fastest knights in the deck, things are going to change very quickly because it's crossroads time. It really is time to bring this into your awareness. Who's been depleting you, Pisces? Who's been draining you? Because it's time to embrace this transformation, this profound life change. It is time to embrace the shedding of the old, to bring in the new, yes, to release third-party energy because it's created a wedge between you and what's true on your heart. I think you have been in a situation with a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, and it's created a lot of confusion. There's a veil of illusion surrounding you, Pisces. And it's time for you to face the truth that I think you are connected to somebody that has been lying to you, dishonest, likely emotionally and physically abusive. And it's time to release this connection. It's time to embrace this death and to deliver that harsh truth. To use this sword 
to cut out these negative attachments and to step into ultimate fulfillment is kind of what I'm feeling, Pisces. We do have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, and strong Scorpio. Um, but I think the time is now to face the music, to face the truth, to stop denying what it is that you know to be true, and to quickly get in the driver's seat and to go in another direction because ultimate fulfillment is awaiting you. And you do need to retreat after facing this challenge because you are going through a profound life transformation and everything is balancing out throughout this chaos and conflict and these changes. So what is this judgment about? Strength reversed, the emperor. Ten of wands reversed. Consciously making a change, leaving something out in the cold to return to something that was walked away from. Wish fulfillment is kind of what I feel. There is a masculine here that has been all up in his ego. He's been he's been feeding the fear, feeding the illusion, not seeing things clearly. And there is a masculine here about to take back control of his life. We have the emperor and the strength reversed. Leo, Aries energy doesn't have to be. This is a father figure and he is given to take action and to do what is just and right in order to bring balance back into a situation. He is letting go of these outdated belief patterns, these ineffective beliefs in order to consciously release a long-standing burden to close out a cycle. I do think there was a masculine all up in his ego, afraid to take action, like I said, feeding the fear, and the time is now. To, to walk away. Maybe there's a masculine getting ready to embrace um, financial freedom. Maybe there's been struggling financially. And my light keeps flicking, guys. So this is a very strong message for my Pisces collective. The time is now. I do feel a masculine that walked away from his wish fulfillment in the past and is now facing some karmic judgment, some harsh karmic judgment perhaps total financial ruin in order to get him to consciously release a burden that has been long past overdue for releasing. What is this five of swords, please? Ace of wands reversed, queen of wands, two of swords. There is a karmic feminine energy here that has been trying to block this masculine's new beginning in love. Passionate brand new beginning. I do feel She's been manipulating. She's been gaslighting. She's been sexually trying to manipulate a situation. Seduction is what I'm feeling. And trying to block this masculine from breaking these chains and swiftly going in a new direction is what I feel. She's well aware that this is unrequited love. And I do feel the time is now for this emperor to come forward to his true stable love, the Queen of Pentacles, there has been prolonged grieving and there has been a karmic feminine energy that has been purposely keeping a masculine stuck from moving forward, from taking control of his life and returning a state of balance to close out a major cycle. Um, there's no love here. She might be faking it. I think she is trying to keep a masculine stuck for financial security for her own sexual pleasures, for her own gains, knowing farewell, she does not love this masculine. It is unrequited. What is this Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands about, please? Queen of Swords reversed, Ten of Swords reversed, Eight of Pentacles reversed. There is a masculine about to withdraw. He's well aware that there are secrets here. He's well aware that it's time for him to honor his true empress. He did not honor his true love in the past. He did not value her. He went towards a karmic connection. And there's about to be a swift turn of events. I do feel there is lies here. There is secrets here. There is betrayal, manipulation. And it's time to withdraw from these secrets, these lies is kind of what I'm feeling. Um, there's gonna be no more work put into a situation that is being released. The 10 of swords and the 10 of wands reversed. There's about to be major secrets revealed stemming around this unrequited love situation. Maybe there's going to be a job loss as well. 
in order to get a masculine to return back to something that was walked away from from the past. What is this two of wands, please? <clears throat> the star reversed, the wheel of fortune, the seven of cups. Yeah, cutting through illusions. There's been a masculine deep in depression, dark night of the soul, manipulated, kept in illusion, kept in confusion. And there is going to be faded, destined change in order for this transformation to take place because there has been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of arguing. There's been a lot of outside sources manipulating a masculine. There's been a lot of gossip and the time is now for things to move in a positive direction. This is positive change no matter how challenging it is. Beautiful. Get ready for a huge tower unavoidable change. I think this tower has been avoided up until now, but there is a masculine about to deliver a very harsh message because he is taking down this illusion, breaking apart from this false sense of security and stepping into some guided action. The Hierophant, the world, it is about stepping into and honoring a higher level of commitment, a spiritual path, closing out <clears throat> A major long-standing karmic cycle. There is a masculine going through a heart awakening. Blocks are going to be removed because this is about a union of souls. Something coming full circle. I do feel a higher power is at play. And I think get ready for some communication because there is a deep soulmate connection here. And there is about to be illumination stemming around these injustices. What's not been fair? What's not been right? And there is going to be a huge release in order for victory to ensue. So it could be dealing with a Libra, a Leo, Taurus, Scorpionic energy. We have all of the fixed signs, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. There is the ending of a false committed partnership. There's no more harmony. The party's over. It's time to withdraw. It's time to face this truth because I do feel there's been a masculine that's been losing sleep a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, being haunted by his past decisions deep within this void in order to shift his perception, to break free from a connection where there's no more harmony, no more seeing together. And the time is now for healing is what I feel, Pisces. So get ready for drastic changes in the month of December because somebody here has been resistant to this new cycle, resistant to coming to the edge, and the time is now for this burden to be released, to heal these family issues and to release addictions and codependencies, to step into a higher level of commitment. What else needs to come through for Pisces, please? Yeah, finances and career are without a doubt a factor, especially with that five of pentacles. And maybe there's been resistance to releasing this connection because it is going to create a lot of financial hardships to step away from a situation that I feel stayed together purely for financial security. This is a deep spiritual past life relationship. Yes, you've known each other before. I am feeling twin flame energy with that Ten of Cups, that's also my twin flame energy. Uh, a releasing of the false flame contract, stepping into everlasting love. Because you do deserve love, Pisces. You are lovable. And it's time for you to go after what it is that you know that you deserve. It's time to release this X. It's time to release this energy. The time has come to clear your energy. I do believe children have been affected. The Emperor is a father. And these children need healing in their life, too. I think the connection is ending because you're no longer on the same page. You have different religious factors coming up. Somebody here is stepping into their spiritual path. And I do think maybe you've waited a long time for this challenge, for this truth to come forward, for this paradigm shift. And it is about healing those family issues. Love and forgiveness is in focus in the month of December. What else needs to come through for Pisces, please? Divine timing is at work, and the time is now to heal your heart, to welcome love in Pisces, and to open up because it is about building a solid, stable, secure foundation, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility, and there is going to be a heart awakening. There is going to be a masculine opening up his heart. If you're the feminine, please be open to love. 
welcome this this meeting, welcome this turn of events, because the masculine is opening up his heart, preparing to come forward with a lot of passionate communication, and the perfect time is now, because he's been frustrated in a relationship. He's lacked the strength and the confidence with the strength card reversed to come forward. He's been feeding these self-sabotaging addictions and codependencies out of fear. And it's time to release these ego fears, these jealousy issues, because he is about to get ready to make a phone call to send a message of love. He's been thinking about you and he's been thinking about letting you know. I think he's avoided dealing with this pain. He has not wanted to go deep within the depths of this brokenness. And he is about to get very angry, I feel, and to instill some firm boundaries in order to release this ex where I feel there's no more harmony in a situation. This emperor wants victory. He wants his true love back. So we'll see what else needs to come through for you, Pisces. With the crystal stone deck, what else does Pisces need to be aware of? Find your tranquil place. You do need to protect your soul um, as a masculine prepares to claim success in his life. There has been um, somebody really desperately needing to cut out these negative people, these negative patterns from their lives. I'm feeling a Pisces masculine that's been dealing with a feminine with heavy Scorpio placements. And she's really concealed these negative weapons and really has used some bad vibrations in order to keep a masculine stuck in these underworld low vibration patterns. And I do feel a masculine is getting ready to illuminate the dark, to arm, his, arm himself with spiritual power and strength and to throttle back is kind of what I'm feeling. So I do feel the energy is supporting movement, a quick turn of events, because it is about building concrete, solid foundations. And there's been a masculine feeling very disconnected. I think he's been hiding it very, very well. He's been, you know, greedy in the sense that, you know, he clung to money, power, and glory. And now it's come down to the bottom line. It's come down to living a life of heart forward movement in order to have that sustainable energy flow to claim his success. Because I do feel he's been through um, the battlefield is what I feel. Coming into a lot of ancient wisdom with that judgment energy, coming into facing that final judgment call. Finally ready to bring forward peace making skills and to be open, openly vulnerable and emotionally available. There's a masculine here getting ready to learn some strict lessons thanks to that planetary action of Saturn. And I think resentments are going to come forward. I feel a feminine that is very resentful and she's about to try and create a lot of damage in your life, Pisces. And I do feel you're really gonna need to protect your energy to go deep within your spiritual wisdom and to allow yourself to stay grounded and centered and to find that inner peace because it's time to release these draining soul sucking vampires. It's time for you to get back into your body and to start feeling your damn self again, Pisces. It's time to get some sleep, to get some exercise, to nourish your mind, your body, and your soul and to cut all of these asses out of your life, Pisces. It's time for you to face this head on and to hold your head up high and to go where your heart is telling you to go. And that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this resonated. If it did and you would like to book a personal reading, please feel free to check out the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.